And anytime you have the one plate on, everybody's running after you. You know, they're gonna run into you harder. They're gonna try harder. They're gonna cut you off. I mean, they're... No, I, I like I liked racing since I was 10 years old. So I like racing anything. I like racing bicycles, I race motorcycles, I race cars, I race boats, I race airplanes. I like racing anything. You know, we still ride mountain bikes to this day and road bicycles and we still race guys. So uh, I just like racing. But Supercross was always more exciting than the national because it's indoors, it's at night, the lights are on, the crowd is right there. When you're taking a corner, you can hear 20,000 of the people yell for you in this corner. and the other side of the stadium, you hear 20,000 people yell at you. And uh, you go over the jump in the middle of the stadium, you hear all 78,000 people yelling for you if they happen to be yelling for you that night. So outdoors, you don't, you don't get that. You go by somebody and somebody's hanging over the fence cheering for you. You see that. And at Supercross, you could hear 70,000 people yelling for you at one time. It overwhelms the, the sound of your motorcycle. So it excites you. To this day, when the national anthem plays, I get goosebumps, my hair rises up on my, on my arms to this day because on the start line of a Supercross for the main event, two minutes before we launch, they play the national anthem. All those years, I was so nervous when that was playing. When I hear the national anthem right now, I go right back to the Supercross line and the hair raises up on my arm. So it's a pretty big deal to us, you know, especially, I, you know, I did it for 15 years. so. You know, I, I still remember that. You know, I hear that and boom, I'm back on the gate, you know, and very nervous. nervous. In 1977 was the first year I won the series. Now, I'd ridden a series, a few of the races in 1976, but 77 just brings back memories that, that I actually, I, when I went in there, I probably didn't think I was going to win the series. And then we won a few races and we, we realized that, hey, maybe we can win this. And uh, we end up winning it and it was, it was a really pretty cool deal. I was uh, already had been an outdoor champion in '76. I think I won uh, the outdoor champion one championship, 250s in, in '77. But we also won the Supercross, which was a way bigger deal to us. That's what we wanted to win. And then once we won that, you know, we wanted to be Supercross champ. You know? Win everything we can, but we wanted to be Supercross champ. In, in 1978. Uh, obviously, we, we were going to go into the Supercross champ with the number one plate. And anytime you have the one plate on, everybody's running after you. You know, they're going to run into you harder. They're going to try harder. They're going to cut you off. I mean, that's just that you're the you're the top dog, and, and everybody wants to beat you. So that's the way that goes. <laughs> anytime you, the guy has the number one plate on, everybody's gunning for him. There's 30 guys on the line. 29 of them are your enemy. You know, that's just the way it is.